All right, everybody, today I'm going to be going over the two arm and one arm variations of doing a standing machine high lateral or low row. All right, um, in this video, in just a moment, I'm going to include uh, a tutorial on how to do grip, meaning pronation, supination, or neutral. Um, the grip's going to be very important when we're doing back, all right? That's going to help us target different parts of our back as well with our arms. So those are some basic principles to get down. I'll see you guys in just a second. So first of all, supination is going to be underhand grip, right? So we want our palms facing the sky. Pronation is going to be our palms facing the ground. And then neutral grip is going to be our palms facing inward towards our torso. Um, kind of same as you would hold a hammer. All right, so once we get those basics down of how to hold the different attachments at what angle to hit different parts of your back, we're getting into standing high row, all right? What's going to determine whether this is a high lateral or a low row is from where the weight origin point is coming from. So with these cable machines, right, it's not a fixed machine. There's a lot of different variations we can do. As you could just see on the screen, it was coming up from a high position. I'm a taller guy, so you're going to see later in this video, oh, actually right now, um, how I actually squat down and I also go on my knees to exaggerate the height of where that weight is coming from to mimic more like a, a lat pull down or a high row. Um, so if you're taller out there or you got a wonky uh, cable machine, you can squat down or go on your knees, and that is how you're going to want to do a high row. Again, it's from wherever the weight is coming from. Of course, a lateral row would be right in the middle because it's coming laterally across into your chest, and then this would be a low row variation. So where I put the cable uh, machine all the way down at the bottom, so now this is hitting a different part of my back, doing a slightly different exercise. And here we have the split stance one arm row. So unless we're doing dumbbells, right, pretend to the one arm row, um, the Traditionally, all going to be done on a cable machine. If you have a, a large variety of machines at your gym that you can do one arm rows on, that's awesome. As long as it's going to be a machine that you can hit it from a high position, a lateral position, or a low row a variation, that's going to be up for you guys to decide. But something that I know that almost everybody in the world is going to have at their gym is a cable machine. So that's why we're using this machine for this video and a lot of the programs. Again, a low row variation is here. You guys just saw the lateral variation as well with the high row. You're gonna notice the arm that I am rowing with as I'm stepping that leg back, right? So now we're into a high row position. There we go. Left leg back, left arm is rowing. If the right arm is rowing, the right leg is back. Guys, that is how you do the two arm and one arm standing machine, high lateral and low row variations. Have a great day.